Hey everyone and welcome to the second tour of our Wetland Dome competition finalist showcase. My god, what an introduction. But today we're going to have a look at this dome right in front of us. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's one, please ensure to do so because in order to be able to vote tomorrow, you're gonna have to see all of those three. So in case, you know, you want to take part in that voting, make sure to do so because, you know, it's important to see that. But this thing over here is going to be a quite different uh, experience from yesterday's uh, dome tour. In case you haven't seen them, here is again all the three uh, finalist previews for you guys again. So you have a little overview what is going to happen uh, today, what happened yesterday and what's gonna happen tomorrow so you guys are able to vote. Now let's move into this dome today and again um, to make things fair yesterday's video was around 17-ish minutes I'm trying to aim for the same just to be sure that the people have the same chances. Now as we move forward you can see it's a completely different approach this time around you have nothing out here um, at least not nothing you can go to because there's definitely something that um, tells me to not go in here even though there's someone running around with a box Maybe that's a box of sugars or candies or whatnot. Um, also, you might notice that the performance is uh, quite different. I'm only running around uh, 30 FPS. That means we will see a lot more detail. Or actually, um, you know, I shouldn't say detail. A lot more pieces, you know. Um, the entrance, again, stayed the same from what I have did, uh, done. And I'm still quite happy about this because I'm, again, still a big fan of it. But now coming in, this build over here has one thing in particular that I love. And this is there is an end entire story for us given with all these signs. However, I'm not going to read them out um, completely. If you guys want to, you can just stop the video um, on these signs and then just read them. I'm just going to quickly stop on them. You can stop and read if you want to. Um, but it's very nicely done. So for example, this lovely area here in the beginning, um, you can see it's so cleverly done here. Uh, we've got so many cool little things uh, with these uh, entrance counter and there's also and this one of on sign, I will actually read that one out. Um, if you can't use this, there's ask stuff about our side entrance. That is so nice because you do have like a side entrance over here um, because there is obviously a staircase and um, obviously for wheelchair drivers or people with strollers and stuff and kids, um, that might not be the easiest thing. However, let's move in and you can see we are greeted by, actually it is the same bridge that I did. So um, I love the fact it is uh, kept in here. There is something um, down here, which you can't really tell, but that looks to be like a caiman down here, a dwarf caiman actually. Um, so there seems to be like an underwater viewing. Um, and on this side, there are a lot of mangroves. I really like the usage of those, like with the little gate to the outside. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure what is in here, to be honest. I haven't seen that, frankly, but we will see what this has uh, in, uh, yeah, in it for us. Now, there are a lot of uh, signs over here. I love this just simple pole, but I do love it. So we've got the Carnival Mountain, we've got the Beaver Dam, interesting, the Penguin Area, the African Delta, the Mangrove Forest, and Amazonia. I think we're going to start with Amazonia then. Um, you can see there's the Mangrove Forest over here. Look at all the mangroves over here. There is more Did You Know stuff. Oh, look, this is the Saltwater Crocodile that lives in there, obviously. Um, also, we have the Platypus over here. This has originally been a Koala Habitat, as stated. Um, I love the fact that uh, the person who did this over here just went in and put a lot more of these eucalyptus in uh, just to make this feeling a bit more like as if it has been really a koala one in the beginning and uh, yeah just in general love it but yeah um over here this tells us dead end okay let's go into a dead end and look at all the details down here this might also where the performance is coming from and that said, these videos, uh, guys, um, hopefully are the last ones um, that are recorded on my current rig. Um, I'm going back to my old motherboard. My old mainboard finally got back uh, from repairs and then eventually I got a new one, actually. Um, and I'm going, my God, this is crowded. You got a lot of babies, I guess. Um, <laughs> a lot of caimans in here. Um, this one is doing its uh, zero gravity thing uh, and not moving further. Uh, but yeah, so lovely. Look at that down here. Love it. I don't want to spoil this video too much with my own crap so uh, yeah the, um, the the motherboard is there and should give us a lot more um, constant and uh, good performance because at the moment my computer is a little bit uh, spoiled I should say now um, let's go forward I love actually how, how this little thing down here turns out um, there's another little sign about the uh, Cuvier Dwarf Cayman Outback Call Imbus that's very Australian love it that just screams Australian to me with these like doors like you know swinging doors and stuff and this is amazonia i think we're gonna go for amazonia first so this is like the top area for the caimans i guess 
Look at that. There's some someone doing the bubble bubble stuff. <laughs> I like that. I like that animation. It's still pretty cool. Um, you can move up here. I'm not sure if we should do that quite yet. Um, what's in here? The Jaguar. Right. This is where the Jaguar lives. Oh, look at that. There was one running around. Jaguars in the water. Lots of baby Jaguars. Like a temple to move up to. Okay, I think I want to move outside. Five minutes in already. Let's go and have a little looky look. Oh my god, there are some capuchin monkeys. Look at that. I love it. Oh my god, look at that! A black panther coming down! Ooh! What a timing that is, guys! Love it! I didn't know that was a black panther. When I was checking it up front, I didn't see that one. Look, there it is. Oh boy, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Can we just quickly snatch that from the other side? Sorry, I just, I, I just have to do that. Just move around and see if it's visible. From, oh yeah, it is. Let's move in quickly, that's so good. Look at that, that could actually become the thumbnail of this video. Oh, it's moving back, it's moving back, guys. Let's follow it outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like how I would behave in zoos as well with these kind of crazy animals. Love it. <laughs> the climbing up there is a little bit wonky though, but you know, <laughs> maybe we see it outside because after feeling we get outside here. Let's see, okay, so this is nice. We get another view of the KP Barras. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is in the capuchin area. We can have a little sign. Uh, okay, then we can go further. This is where we go outside. Love it. Love it. Oh, that is so cool. This is a dead end. Oh, this is, I think this is where we came from, from the from the entrance. There are some capybaras just in front of us. Oh, there is this, this torment mound. So it means there has to be the giant anteater in here somewhere as well, I assume. There's the... Tapir? Maybe there's the anteater in here as well? Not sure, not sure, but it might be, it might be, who knows? Okay, let's move forward. Um, we've seen that from the inside. Lovely, I lo like the fact that you can be outside as well. And I'm assuming that over here, this has to be then the jag- Oh yeah, there you go. Our friend the Black Panther is just making its way inside. A little bit <laughs> wonky wonky. <laughs> Dang it, but I like it. I like it a lot. I like it the, a lot that there's also this way to get out and I like how overgrown it all is and Yeah, just really good. Also pretty clever usage of I assume That this thing is this kind of planter thingy uh, that we have in the pieces and actually it's not the plants itself Because we don't have these tiny kind of things in here. I, I really believe it's that one very clever usage Also, I love the fact how he's and he or she, I don't know exactly who, who did this, um, is incorporating the more colorful trees. I, more often than not, I, you know, I notice myself not doing that enough. This is the giant otter living in here. Love it. Okay, so we go around here. Oh my god, look at all the, all the detail on the ground. Very overgrown. Very nice view. Look at the dome. I really think it's very good to incorporate the dome as well in the background. So using these outer habitats, um, you know, helps a lot by selling the idea. Um, so let's move forward. There's so much to discover over here. Oh, look at that. There's another underground. I love the signage that it just tells me that there will be a dead end. So I'm not looking for another way. Um, we're not going to look at all the signs. Again, you guys can download this piece from the workshop. I think it's a lot better anyway. So you can, uh, you know, make it the way you want to. Uh, I think, oh my God, look at that. Um, we can go either inside, which is giving us a view on the hippo, which we've seen because that's what I've did uh, done. Also, love it that they used uh, my kind of way of, of support on the top really nicely incorporated. I assume that on the left-hand side, this is where the Jaguar is. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So we just take the outside road uh, because there is the African Delta, the Beaver Dam, the Penguin Bay, and the Carnival Mountain. And most of all, there's a wonderful little... Uh, shall we just have a little seat here real quick? Let's go. And sit down. Now we sit down. Have a look. Ooh. Just a just a little moment in time, you know, follow around. Oh God, I love it. Okay, so um, if we go here, this is the African Delta and this is the Beaver Dam. I think I want to go for the Beaver Dam first. And, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that is, that is, that is a really, really nice habitat design, guys. Can I, there's one of the beavers, okay. But look at that in the background. Wait, can I get there? How do I get there? Wait a sec. I want to see if I can get there because there's like this pathway 
leading me into this. Oh, there's even some snow. I mean, obviously, that's kind of fake snow, I assume. What animal lives in here? The grizzly bear. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's some interesting animal for a, a wetland area, but okay. Oh, actually, it's not. The grizzly bears are living a lot in, in like, river deltas and stuff because, like, getting for some salmon and stuff. So, that makes sense. I love it. What a nice building that is as well. I just love this kind of, uh, you know, this way of working with the locks. It's just so pure aesthetic for me. Like, this lock cabin kind of style just really hits me every time I see it. Really nice. Um, so then there is... Oh my god, there are some wolves even. Oh my god, so many animals in here. And I was wondering about the performance. But just, like, look at how different it is. Like, again, what I said yesterday. It is so different from what I have done and the video we've had yesterday. Ooh, love it. Um, yeah, I just generally love the different approaches that people had about this. So let's move on to, you know, uh, see that we can actually check everything. There's like a dead end over here. So we are just going to skip that for a second. There's like a little underground viewing of, that looks to be like a, Another one. That's the alligator, isn't it? I, I think the alligator would fit in here. Yeah, that's the alligator. Boy, that's so cool. There's the alligator. Look. There's a baby. A little ball. <laughs> Jeez, there's so much going on here. I just can't even... There is the beavers again. Okay, so I think we have to go all the way here to the front again. And go into the African Delta. Okay, that makes sense. And now over here, this is, by the way, I, I figured that. I'm just going to run past this because that is one of the most ridiculously sized hippo habitats ever. But what they did is they just opened up my hippo area, which I effectively did already. And then this entire delta over here is the hippo habitat. And honestly, guys, I am in awe with that because it makes so much sense. And once we go into the African delta, you can see it is spammed with flamingos and I genuinely love it. These like kind of little African huts we have over here are brilliant. And then if we go over, you can see this is what we are greeted with. Ah, oh, it is so good. Love the separation between the two habitats. Just in general, it is so, so well done. Look at that, the hippo is just storming inside. Oh my God, no, there's my master, let's go in. <laughs> uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, we're gonna go out here. This is where the flamingos lived, like a little restaurant area, and just like, look how cozy it looks. It's it's just crazy how these new flower plants and stuff from the conservation pack also just leveraged, uh, leverated, or like ele elevated, I should say, uh, the way of designing some, you know, grass areas. I really do like it. Um, yeah, while having all these sounds in the background uh, of babies and stuff, we can have a look here. Oh, look at that. I, I, I just really have no idea what type of uh, screenshot I should do because this is just having so many great views as well, just as the other one yesterday. <sighs> I'm confused. Okay, now this is the Penguin Bay and there is an underground viewing, almost like a stadium with all these rocks and stuff. I just want to see what is down there. Let's just move down. Ooh, there's a lot of party going on. Again, some anti-gravity uh, people. <laughs> it is so wild that they just like stop. But, like, when you see them diving, I'm just still such a big fan of the diving mechanics in this game. I think it's really well done, and I really do enjoy that every single time I see it. Now, let's move on. And uh, Also, I love the fact that they used my uh, stone wall that I used for the hippos, also in yesterday's build. Very clever interpretation of that one, so really, really nicely done. Did you know African penguins dig holes to lay their eggs there? They lay two eggs, which hatch after three months. Interesting. So this is where they might oh, look at what's going on over here. <laughs> Such a crowded place with all these penguins. Um, I think we could either go in here. Uh, no, that's just backstage, but or is this? Oh, no, that's leading us back, right? This is proboscis monkey. Look with some uh, Malayan type ears. OK, and this is the oh, this is the mangrove forest. That looks so cool. OK, well, um, I think, oh my god, look at this <laughs> again, size-wise, it's just such a crazy habit. Let me just pause that over here and get a good glimpse. I think this is looking really decent. Yeah, it's super nice. Super nice with the tape here over here. Okay, let's go forward a little bit more and try to see what else is in store for us. 
So there is something really nice. Is that a dead end too? No, it's not. Okay, well, let me just go down. Oh, is it? It is. Okay, this time, but I mean, I, I can obviously tell that this is a dead end. Um, there are some small clawed otters in here as well. Look, there's one swimming around a little. Whee! I love them. They're so cute. They're so cute. All right, um, this is all good and done and nice and stuff, but uh, there's so much more. So much more. Orangutan is greeting me as well. This is a crazy multi-species habitat, and it seems very big indeed, right? We have to see that from bird's perspective in a second. Uh, this is zoo management. <laughs> nice. What a nice building for that. Uh, but we are almost done with the outside. This is a dead end, okay, but we go up here because I just want to see what's in here. That's a nice restaurant. Oh, what is that? Who is living in here? That looks like a tiger or something of some sort. Bengal tiger, yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, sorry, I just hit my microphone completely hard. I hope it wasn't too bad. So there's the tiger. Love it. Yeah, this is such a nice view. Um, but what else? I mean, there's even more. Is that like the outside area of the Bengal tiger? It is. This is, this is just so enormous. Okay, I guess we have to go in just to not crash the time limit because I like, you know, a minute or two longer is not that bad, but I want to keep it fair. Look at that bridge design though. With, oh my god, look at the look at the orangutan using that bridge. Love it. Now it's doing some weird stuff, but just in general, that is a, that is almost like a thumbnail worthy perspective over here with the tape here and oh, oh, love it. Okay, but we go on and we're just not done yet dead end i want to go to the dead end though i just want to go up here because that is going to grant me like a very nice overview so this is where the penguins are and this seems to be the huge habitat with all the monkeys and stuff and then over there this should be the plaza with the bengal tiger right this should be then the bengal tiger another shop front oh yeah there's the tiger look the tiger is just in front of us just Snatching a little bit of that wonderful meat. Is that the meat and greed point then here? Or how okay, that's like meat and poop. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, just like this is this has been one of the most crazy transitions from food to poop uh, in a split second. But I think it's the point where we have to jump into the free look mode just to not crash the time limit entirely because we are almost done. Yeah, so this is like a little toilet, and that is then the area that I have done. With the platypus and yeah basically that's what i have done okay so we didn't miss out on that but my goodness me look at that dome design that is so like so different but what i love about this one is look at the outside though look at that it's like a complete experience and honestly i'm madly in love with that i just really think that is how I envisioned, I envisioned this to, to be looking after, you know, I have also done the outside. I cannot imagine how long it would have taken me to build that. Um, potentially 2026 we might have been done with it. So kudos to whoever did that one because that just went a little quicker than I would have done it. But boy, that was, uh, yeah, obviously the tour is not really, like it, it has not really paid enough uh, tribute to what this is uh, actually offering we could have had spent like an hour in here easily but again to keep it somewhat fair i'm gonna you know stop it over here just keep my camera steady for a split second so you guys have the chance to see all the three on the screen again so yesterday's tour today's tour and uh, tomorrow's tour as a little preview and i really do hope you guys enjoyed this again as always if you want to help out the channel and you know want to make sure that these type of competitions are also possible in the future please make sure to subscribe to the channel tell your friends you like it or just leave a comment for the algorithm to be happy and now um if you guys like this content you want to see more of it to the top right as always there's a video for you if you want to continue binge watching planet zoo which you should actually do want to do um that was brilliant english just click it and uh, have a lovely day thank you guys so much and i see you in the next one